Welcome to the Yealink YMCS training series from Teledynamics. First thing you need to do is log into YMCS, have your account set up. You're going to click on Device Management. Once you get logged in and you see Device Management, you might get prompted with a wizard. You can go ahead and close that. Next, you're going to go click on Phone Device. We're going to set up today a W70B. Um, you could set up any other device type you like, but in this video we're going to set up a uh, W70B. So go ahead and click device list and click add. If you like, you're going to give the device a name so you can find it easier. We're just going to call it the model and something unique so we can find it. The Mac is going to be printed on the box. It's also on the label of the device. Once you enter that, you also are going to need to add the machine ID, which is Yealing's way of saying serial number. So the serial number is on the box as well as the device. Once you get the complete machine ID entered, you'll next want to select the model. When you click on the drop down there for the model, you're going to find that there is a lot. So just scroll through all the way until you find your device. Add a description if you like. We're going to skip over bind account for now since we don't have any account set up yet. Go ahead and click save. Once you do, you're going to see now the device is in the device list. The status still shows as pending because I have not plugged it in yet. So I'm going to plug it in here now. Uh, the device needs to have internet access. So you want to make sure that whatever network you're plugging it into um, has access to the internet. Once this device boots up, gets on the network, you're going to see the status change from pending to online. And you can refresh the page. You'll see a little refresh button there to show that the status is, is online. Next, we're going to go to Diagnos diagnosis, which is where support would ask you to go. Um, one click export is where you would um, export your device, uh, your diagnostic file. You see here it says device log level 3. We're going to show you how to change that up to 6 here in a second. Um, typically during this one click export, you get an option to change the length of the diagnostic file. Um, if it's something you can reproduce, then obviously you'll want to do it during this time. Here's where you change the device log level to 6. Go back, click export, and then you can once again click one click export. This time you'll see in this list here down at the bottom it says device log level 6. Again, capture duration, minimum is 180. You can bump that up to as many as 3,600 3, seconds. Once this is finished, you'll be able to download that file, give it to your support technician um, so they can take a better look. If you need to update firmware, you can do that through YMCS as well, uh, which makes it really handy to not have to go to your customer's locations to do firmware updates. You can just automate the process here. Um, I'll show you in a later video where you can add resources. Uh, resources. Um, we don't have any resources yet for the firmware, so it doesn't know of any newer versions in your login. So actually, we're going down to resources. We're going to add an account first. But you see over there, you also have firmware. 
So click on add to add a SIP account for your W70B. Your register name is your extension number. Username is also typically your extension number, so I would just leave it the same unless you've been asked for a different username to provide. Password is going to be your, your extension SIP password, whatever that is. Uh, I don't have any other sites created currently, but if you did, you'd want to sort these by site for your customer. Um, label would also typically be the extension number. You can do a display name if you like. And then your SIP server address goes here. If you have more than one, you can use the second one, but most, most people don't ever use more than one. So once you save that, you're going to see now there's a view option here to bind this account to a device. Um, you can either click view here or you can go back over to device under device list. Uh, you can edit the device that you want to bind that account to right here. Um, if you would have clicked on this previously, you wouldn't have seen anything there because there wasn't any accounts created yet to bind. So now that we have an account to bind, the account status will eventually change here. Um, we're going to look under device overview and watch that it's still unregistered, but uh, once it updates here, you see there it, it actually registered. Now that it's a green check mark, it's registered. You can also verify that over in device management under the list. Under the account status column, there's now a green check mark in the account that is registered. If there were multiple there, it would show multiple numbers. Um, to find out more about YMCS, go to support.yealink.com, go to Knowledge Base, go to Yealink Management Cloud Service, you can go to Quick Start, and then find all these additional topics on what you can do, including alarms, for example. Um, we're not going to cover that in this video. But if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at Teledynamics uh, under info at Teledynamics or your salesperson um, can also help you out. Um, so give us a call. Thanks for watching.